Hi and welcome in this video from Teach Me How to Trade Forex Trading. Creating this video, Damien Epi. Hi everyone, so here we are on the 15th December 2019 to analyze the trade of last week. So here is the profile of last week from the 9th December 2019. We start from zero. So obviously, we have a trade at the level, pin bars followed by a doji broken down of the doji. This one is obviously. So you have this specific pin bar but not very strong. I would have waited this doji to form and after this a breakout. Stop loss is a bit big but uh, as you can see it made easily 3 reward. So it's our first winning. Now Outcat. Outcat same. Strong pin bar right here. Retracement entry is totally possible and this is a winning trade. Odd CHF no trade. Odd the New Zealand. We have a lot of levels. Let's check what happened. At the beginning of the week, price is ranging on this specific zone. We have this doji broken up, so we have a losing trade right here. Then, what do we have? We have this price touching exactly the line and making a very nice angle thing, bullish candle. So the retracement at the 50% is possible. And you could have taken a breakout. And in this specific case, since it's a very big candle, you take only one reward. It would have win anyway. And the second at the retracement didn't trigger except on Friday so it's too risky price is too far from the candlestick to take a correct entry right here so I wouldn't have entered this specific one so so far there is one loss and uh, I will not count the win because the reward is only one but it could have been a, a good trade also now let's look at odd JPY okay nice nice opportunity on odd JPY so you have price breakup, some news event, and it's December. So make a doji, didn't break the doji, but made a pin bar and break the pin bar or retracement entry anyway. Both entry are winning, and as you can see, it made two and three reward easily. So so far three win, one loss. Odd Singapore, no level touch. Euro odd, nothing, and GBP odd. Let's see what happened. So, what do we have at the beginning of the week? We have a very nice pin bar right here, and this pin bar is a losing trade. And it was a perfect pattern, so no, nothing wrong here. And after we have an angle thing or a bearish pin bar at the level, eventually retracement entry or breakout entry, stop loss above the spike, and both it is a winning trade anyway. <coughs> So three win two loss, three reward each. Now let's look at CAD pair. Okay, CAD CHF. No trade during the week. CAD JPY, same. CHF JPY. I don't know, CHF JPY. What do we have here? We have a, a doji right here didn't break down on the next two candles, so this one is a cancel trade. And after we have another doji right here, didn't break down, so no entry either here. And after, what do we have? Um, nothing at the level. No, no pattern, so we couldn't have taken this specific trade. So no trade, uh, yeah, no trade since it was a breakout entry. CHF Singapore. No level worth to touch either. Singapore JPY. We have a trade. So what happened? We have this kind of a doji at the level and this one. Uh, tac, tac, tac. Let me check how many pips. 24 pips and it made 41. 1.5 reward. So this one is a winning trade. I don't count it but it's a winning trade. Since as I told you the breakout entry give you 1.5 to 2 reward maximum. And after, what do we have is those specific doji at the level, stop loss right here, entry right here, and this one is a winning trade. So, 
one more winning trade. So far, five win. Let's look at gold. Gold, nothing. Silver, same. And silver, euro. We have a trade during the week. And this trade was this doji as the opening of the week. Breakout here. And uh, it broke on the second candle, which is acceptable. And uh, if your entry here didn't trigger properly, you have this specific pin bar, which is an entry. And the stop loss is always below the low right here. Or this specific pin bar, and it's a winning trade. So another winning trade during the week. On silver against euro. Now let's look at euro pair. Okay, euro USD. We have a level that it's touch. A doji right here, spike all over here. It's a big stop loss trade and it made 1.5 already. So it's a winning trade. But since the stop loss is big, I can understand if you wouldn't have taken this specific trade. That's the only one on Euro USD. Now Eurocad, uh, no trade. Euro CHF, same. Euro New Zealand. Okay, so what do we have here? We have this one. It qualifies a pin bar because the upper pin is very strong. Retracement entry and this one is a losing trade. So we have one losing trade right here. And after the round number reacted, but it's not one of our levels. So I wouldn't have taken this trade. And that's it. So we have one losing trade on this pair. That's it for the week. Now let's look at Euro JPY. Euro JPY is a breakout trade right here, so no trade. Euro Singapore, same. Euro Hong Kong, same. Euro NOC didn't touch. Ça is And Euro SEC. Okay. So Euro SEC was a railroad track from last week. And it was a winning trade. But complicated to take since it was on Friday. A bit dangerous. And after no other setup form so there is no trade right here for this week okay gbp knock didn't touch the level so no trade right here and didn't make a pattern so no trade didn't touch the level gbp try a trade on friday but since it's december i don't advise to take it so no trade euro gbp euro gbp we have very nice pin bar right here the so retracement of the pin bar is right here, stop loss right here, and it's obviously a winning trade. 5 reward actually on this trade. And after this pin bar could have been taken also eventually right here. It's an angle thing, bearish pin bar. So you could have taken the breakout of this one, but it's a big stop loss, so we would have taken one reward, 1.5, and both time it's a winning trade. So one more winning. And that's it. I don't take this specific doji right here because it's way above the level. So it's in no man's land area. I don't take this trade. But it was a winning as you can see also. So eventually, even if you take a wrong trade, you could have made three win on Euro GBP last week. Very nice. So what do we have here? We have this pin bar on GBP Singapore beginning of the week it's a losing trade it broke this one after you have this railroad track right here and when this railroad track from you can take a breakout entry and this one is obviously a winning after that you have a very bullish pin bar angle thing the other one nearly a railroad track and the retracement entry works as a breakout and this one is a very huge win so you have one loss and two win on this pair now let's look at GBP New Zealand, didn't touch anything. GBP JPY, oh we have trades here. So GBP JPY, ah no, it touched the trend line, so you could have taken this trade as a breakout. So this one is a losing trade right here. And after this one, this doji is in no man's land, so you wouldn't have, we wouldn't have taken this one. So one loss on this one, that's it. Okay, GBP cat then. GBP cat, what do we have? Didn't touch the level. This one could have been taken. It's a pin bar, replacement entry. And uh, this one is a losing trade because I believe it didn't make two reward. Let me check. 
37. Oh, it made one reward on me. So this one is a losing trade, so we have one loss. And after that, we have another loss because it made this spin bar, and this spin bar broke down. And after you have an angle thing, bullish. So, one loss right here, one loss right here, and finally one win right here. And what you have is this one, you could have taken this one as a breakout, and this one is a winning. So actually you have one loss, two loss, one win, and two win. Two win and two losses on GBPCAD. Now let's look at GBPCHF. Alors, GBPCHF, you have very nice trade from the beginning of the week. This very nice pin bar, retracement entry, stop loss right here, entry right here, and it's a huge winning trade. So you have one win. After you have this pin bar right here, and uh, the entry would have been this point right here, stop loss. Stop loss would have been 32 pips, and it made a 60-70. So it made more than two rewards, so you would have taken break even on this specific trade. And after what happened is you have this specific uh, dodgy, not really qualified as a pin bar, hammer, hammer broken down, and uh, eventually, eventually you could have lost this one. So you would have get one win, one win, one break even, and one loss. So to count one win and one loss, and finally, the one that I forget is after this huge candlestick right here, you have a doji right here, hammer inverted, and this breakout entry is a very good winning trade. So another winning trade on this pair. Okay, GBP USD. What do we have here? So we have one losing trade right here pin bar broken after we have this one which is a losing trade also so we have one tr one losing two losing and after what do we have we have this angle thing same bullish pin bar so the breakout of this trade is a winning and that's it so we have two loss and one win which recovers the losses on this specific pair now let's look at uh, New Zealand Okay, New Zealand USD. What do we have here? We have this one that can qualify as a pin bar, and uh, it's a losing trade. So no other trade, one loss only for here. Now let's look at New Zealand CAD. New Zealand CAD with a very nice trade. This angle thing candle broken up. And it's a huge winning trade, so it's a good one. After we have New Zealand CHF. Okay, so New Zealand CHF, what do we have? This candlestick, very nice pin bar, but didn't touch the level. I wouldn't have taken it. And after you have very nice other pin bar right here. And this one, very, very tight stop loss, uh, made maybe seven, eight uh, rewards. So it's a huge win. And on the other direction, you could have taken this pin bar right here. It's a very huge doji during the news. After you have a doji right here, and the breakout of the doji with stop loss here, one one point five two, it's running. I will not count it, but this one is running in profit for now. Now let's look at uh, New Zealand GPY. What happened? So made a very nice pin bar right here. It's a losing trade. And after, after, no pattern, no pattern on this level. And at this pattern, at this level, you have a doji. Stop loss would have been above, and this one is a winning trade. So you have one loss beginning of the week and one win at the end of the week. Now let's look at knock GPY. Okay, knock GPY, what happened? So this specific candle is nothing but this one is a doji broken down it's a winning trade 1.5 reward largely and no losing trade now let's look at usd pairs okay usd cat didn't touch any level usd jpy touch a level on friday and it's a doji broken down it's running actually 
right here broken down it's a very large candlestick so I'm not sure I would have taken it but it made one reward around now so I would place if you are in the trade you place in break even but I, I said everyone to close the trade during the weekend so you should just have taken profit with one reward I don't count it but you should be at profit right now now let's look at USD CHF okay so USD CHF what do we have this one didn't touch the level this one is there so we have only this one and there is no pattern so there is no trade actually USD Singapore Oh, this one is very nice because you can see it's just outside the envelope it's a good opportunity and two strong levels and look at what happened you have a doji doji stop loss right here broken up and it made largely 2.5 reward let me check 13 pip stop loss and it made already 34 so this is a winning trade since a breakout take two reward maximum that's it USDs are no trade, SEC GPY. Okay, SEC GPY, what do we have? Um, okay, maybe some losing trade right here. We have a doji right here, and this doji broken down, so we have one loss. After you have a pin bar, and this one is a losing trade also, and after it's too much above, so there is just two losing trade right here. And that's it for your sec GPY. Now USD PLN didn't touch. USD Danish Krona. It made a pin. Made a pin right here. After it made the doji, the doji is broken up. The stop loss is right here. And it's a winning trade. As I said, breakout entry, you make 1.5 reward. It's, this one made 2 largely. Now USD Xetch. A trade on Friday. Okay, so what do we have? We have a doji, a very nice pin. After you have a doji right here, you take the breakout of the doji, stop loss is right here, and you have made a tax. Since you close everything on Friday evening, you should be with around maybe 0 07 reward, something like that. I don't count it, but uh, it's running in profit, and this big body candle indicates that the price might go at least to the 50 EMA, eventually the 200 EMA. So I have good hope for this trade, but I still hope you didn't catch it for the weekend because uh, Christmas is near, a lot of people went on holiday uh, when we see the spike on Thursday last week. It means a lot of people place their order because they went on holiday or take out their money before they went on holiday, which is more likely. So volatility and spike can happen during the weekend, so it's dangerous now to hold a trade during the weekend. This one is very interesting, it's way outside the envelope, touched the 200 EMA, and it didn't touch my specific level but made a huge rejection already, and that's the only trade of the week. And USZ MXN, what do we have? Okay, so what do we have? We have this doji didn't break out, breaking up, so it's not a trade, and we have another doji right here, broken up, so this one is a losing trade. And that's the only trade of the week. So, so far, swing trading strategy, we have 6, uh, tac, tac, 18, 18, 22, 22 winning trade. And I would say uh, 18 are 3 reward, which make it 54, 54 reward, plus 4 trades that I count with 2 reward which make it 8. So total 62 reward 1 and I deduct the losing trade and we have uh, 6, uh, 12, 15 losing trade. So 15 risk. So 62 minus 15 47 reward profit for the week times 2% it makes it 94% profit for the week potential for this specific profile using my swing trading strategy. Now let's look at the pending order. Okay, USD MXN, no trade. USD HUF, no trade. This one is at the envelope and we want something outside, so this is not, this is not a real trade. USD DKK. 
this one is at the envelope, so the second is a better choice. Stop loss would have been 70, 80, 80 pips, uh, actually, yeah, 80, and it made 140, so this is a losing train. One losing trade so far. USDPL and no trade. Sec GPY. Sec GPY, we have uh, one losing trade. There was a very big event on Thursday night. USD are nothing, USD Singapore. USD Singapore. So this trade right here didn't touch the stop loss and made the profit. Stop loss was 10. So that's our first winning on USD Singapore. Now USD CHF. No trade, USD GPY. We have one trade at the level and uh, this obviously didn't touch the stop loss and it made 34. Let me check how many. It made 46, so it's a winning trade. Another winning trade on USD JPY. USD CAD didn't touch any level. So, so far, two win, two loss. Let's check New Zealand. Okay, New Zealand made a spike and the spike taken us out. Stop loss would have been 3.5, so it's a losing trade. One more. And the JPY inside. Add the envelope, you can have one loss, one win. One loss, one win on this one. Break 11 pips and the stop loss would have been uh, 13 plus 2, 15 pips. So minimum of 45 pips and it made 57, so it's a winning trade. On NZDCHF, now NZDCAD. Outside the envelope there was nothing. And that the USD outside the envelope, nothing. Let's look at uh, GBP. Okay, so GBP inside, outside. So we have one loss right here on GBP USD. GBP CHF. Uh, tac, tac. You have one loss, two loss, one win. So the win recover everything after what do we have here. One loss, one win, one win and one loss. But just to show you, this one is a losing trade and this one is a winning train. GBP, JPY, what do we have? Uh, we have two loss on this one. Those two level very close, one from each other, are uh, broken. So two losses. Now let's look at GBP, New Zealand, uh, no trade. GBP Singapore. We have one loss right here, and uh, that's it. Oh, and we have one win, one win right here. Actually, so we have one win, one loss. One win, one loss. Okay, Euro GBP. So Euro GBP is a win. So this one eventually one win, and uh, this one oh outside the envelope also. Oof, magnificent. So we have one win, two win, and after that, what do we have? We have one loss right here and two loss. So two win, two loss. It was a very volatile week. GBP try. This one is a losing trade, I think. How many pips? 56, yeah. One more losing. GBP sec, uh, no trade. GBP knock. Uh, one trade eventually here, so one loss. One loss. We are still ahead. Now let's look at Euro pairs. Okay, so Eurosec. Eurosec. This one was at the envelope, so it didn't count. It was a very nice trade. Now what about Euros are nothing. Euro knock, uh, no trade. Euro Hong Kong, no trade. Euro Singapore, same. Euro JPY, no trade. Euro New Zealand, uh, let me check on the daily chart. Euro New Zealand, this was a trade from last week, touch exactly the level, and it made 140 pips, so it's a winning trade. Touch on Friday. And uh, that's it. Euro CHF, no trade. Euro CAD, no trade. Euro USD, Euro USD, it was inside the envelope. Uh, and that's it, so there is no other trade. Now let's check CAD, Singapore, CHF, and Metals. 
<coughs> okay, what do we have? Inside the envelope everything. Same. Same. Singapore GPY. Uh, we have very nice trade on Singapore GPY. We have one loss right here. The white line is a losing trade. But after that we have very nice winning trade. So one win, one loss. Singapore. CHF Singapore. No trade. Uh, this one like how many pips he went 17 pips and I will stop at uh, let me check more precisely so the stop loss would have been uh, 14 pips plus 2 pips 16 pips and it made 15 pips so he didn't touch the 17 pips stop loss so it's good uh, and it's a winning trade and that's the only trade for this pair Oh, no, there, there was this one. No, it's uh, it's not. So there is only one winning trade on this pair. Cat GPY, no trade. Cat CHF, uh, tac tac, daily, no trade. And finally, Australian dollar, pairs. So, GBP odd, what do we have? We have this level, but I'm not sure it touched actually. Tac, tac, tac. Oh, yeah, it touched actually. Yeah, this is a trade. And it's a winning trade. So we have one winning trade right here. Then after that, we have one losing trade at the level, same level actually. And outside the envelope, uh, no trade. Your odd, no level touch. Odd Singapore, same. Odd the GPY, oh, we have trade right here. So what do we have? We have a losing trade and a winning trade. Two loss, one win. Two loss, one win. And what can I say here? For this specific example, if you have two levels like that, and uh, you can see the price make a very nice angle thing and the line go up. I would have taken only the second level and the third level, which have make only one win, one loss. But since you win three rewards when you win, uh, it would have been worth your time. You would have made two reward profit on this one. I, I count it, I just explained that you could have avoided it. You could have avoided one loss on this one. Okay, what about here? We can eventually count one loss right here. And this one, pff, don't count it because it's inside the envelope. So you could have counted one loss, one loss more. On odd New Zealand, and that's it. Now, odd CHF, no trade. Odd CAD. Odd CAD were a very nice trade. So this level was uh, heaven. And it touched it and reverse. Bah. 70 pips, it's more than 4 rewards, so great, great trades. And odd USD, very nice trade too. So it made 11 pips against us, and our stop loss would have been 11 plus 2 pips, so 13 pips. So this one is safe, and it made the 3 reward largely. So another win. To finish this video, on the pending order strategy, we have uh, 6, uh, 12, 12, 16 winning trade with 3 reward which make 48 reward and we have 1, 2, 3 and we have 20 risk loss which make a total of 28 reward 1 times 2% 56% profit I hope you get some profit this week me I have a computer problem I couldn't trade but it's a very nice analysis that has a potential of overall 94% plus 56 equal 150% profit for both strategy potential of my analysis for the week. I hope you enjoy this video and you learn with me. I wish you success and note that from next week, the, the Christmas week, we will not trade. So we will stop trading on Friday. That's it. And this week we will take trades with very, very caution. Bye everyone. We are already at the end of the video. Subscribe for updates. Please like and share this video if you found the content useful. Comment below if you want to give me your feedback or if you want a video on a specific topic. I propose a free mentorship with access to more than 30 pairs analyzed weekly and real-time trading alerts. You can join by my Facebook group and Telegram channels, the links are below.
If you want to learn how to analyze the market on your own and become a professional profitable trader, I also propose two complete courses. One on binary option, one on forex. I post a link below explaining what you will find in them and also where to find the reviews from my previous student. Finally, if you need a quality forex broker, I recommend IC Market through ECN Law Spread and Commission regulated in Australia. Their link is below. I wish you success in trading. See you soon.